Keep your heads up and your arms covered, family. What's up, beautiful fam? We're starting with the verse of the day for Tuesday, August 31st. And it's Psalms chapter 119, verse 105. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So if you feel like your oil is running low, fill your lamps up with the word, Jesus Christ. And I'm already getting blown up with the Holy Spirit. It's the truth. And we're followers of Jesus Christ, soldiers for Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ said the signs of his coming would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. So that's where we're going. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We seen this coming and we shared it with you on August 22nd on the blue moon. But now it's happening. Right where Jesus Christ said the signs of his coming would be. And it's Sunspot 2860. And in Strong's Bible Concordance, the definition for 2860 is bridegroom. And as you can see right here, it says... Big Sunspot AR 2860 is seething with activity. And it's gigantinormous. And it just let off a 4.7 class solar flare that's expected to hit us. Geomagnetic storms on September 1st and 2nd, tomorrow and the next day. And September 2nd is the day of creation, Elul 25. And this picture was from August 28, just a few days ago. And Sunspot 2860 is about where 2862 is today, which would make 2861 earth-facing. And in Strong's Bible Concordance 2861, the definition is... A marriage, a wedding. All three of these signs in the sun are pointing to the rapture. And the third one is 2862. And in Strong's Bible Concordance for 2862, the definition is... To seize, to snatch away. It means rapture, family. One, two, three in a row. Bridegroom. Wedding. Marriage. To seize, to snatch away. And if you didn't see this, it says right here. Massive solar storms may shut down internet around the world. And if you zoom in, it looks exactly like a fire-breathing dragon. And the dragon's about to be cast down. And we're going to go over that shortly. And what we're about to show you, this sign, we've never seen anything like it, family. But first, Genesis chapter 9, verse 12. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. It's the promise, the covenant, that God will never destroy the earth with water again, like he did in the times of Noah, like the times we're in right now. And when you go to 2 Peter 3.10, the word says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. And yesterday, God gave us a heads up, and here it is, family. It's our cover picture for the video. And they're calling it... A fire rainbow, and they caught it over West Virginia yesterday. And that reminds us of the five wise virgins that were ready and went in with Jesus Christ to the marriage. And the door was shut. And we just recently posted this comment from our brother Danny. And he said, please help me understand. If the Revelation 12 sign happens every year, what made 2017 stand out to everyone? Well, first off, all glory to our Father in the name above every name. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. To the best of our knowledge and memory, it was our brother Scotty Clark that actually spotted this sign, the Revelation 12 sign, on September 23rd in 2017. 
And Scotty Clark's been off of YouTube for about a year now. I think he's put out one video. We'll get into that more soon. But here's what I replied. And it's the truth. The reason it was so big in 2017 is because Jupiter was in retrograde for nine months in Virgo. Like a pregnancy. But this year it's even stronger, family. And here's why. Because September 21st will be nine months since the Christmas star. The Bethlehem star. The Jupiter-Saturn conjunction. And it's right here at astronomy.com. The Christmas star appears again. Jupiter and Saturn align in the Great Conjunction on December 21st, 2020. And right underneath it says, From the birth of Jesus Christ, there has been great conjunctions of Jupiter and Saturn that have made many notable connections in human history. And in our last video, we showed you that the asteroid Amos is lined up with Spica, the wheat and the barley on 9-11 family. In a quick summary, God showed Amos a basket of summer fruit and he told him, The end has come upon my people of Israel. I will not again pass by them anymore. And when you go to verse 9, And it shall come to pass that in that day, saith the Lord God, will I cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. The sun will be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And then you'll see the sign of the Son of Man appear in heaven. It's the rapture, family. And we've been telling you for years that Jesus Christ is coming, and he is. And all year long, even since December last year, we've been telling you that the Antichrist is coming and that God is showing us this in the signs. And I'm going to wrap it up and tie it all together right here. And it can't be denied, family. You will be blown away. And I'm blown up with the Holy Spirit as I'm telling you this. In Comet 323, a showing forth, the forerunner for John the Baptist. Never moved in history until last year, family. And on Father's Day last year was the first time that it started moving and the first time that it ever went through Leo. And whether we're still here or not, on October 18th is when it's right where it started. And when you go to Luke 10, 18... Jesus Christ said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And most of you know that means Barack Obama. Now brace yourselves, family, because this is truly gigantinormous. If you go from the Christmas star, the Bethlehem star, the conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter that's on this coin, combined on this coin, to Luke 10, 18, October 18th, and you calculate the days, the duration, it's 301 days. And when you go to Strong's Bible Concordance for 301, the definition is... Amos, an Israelite ancestor of Christ. Amos, the prophet, the father of Josiah, an ancestor of Jesus Christ. So recap, our Lord God gave Amos a basket of summer fruit and he told him... The end has come upon my people of Israel. I will not again pass by them anymore. And remember, Luke 10, 18, fam. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And we showed you the comet 342 that looks like a snatching away on 10, 18. And we showed you in Greek, the definition is a renewal. Well, in Hebrew, the definition is enmity. And when you scroll down, it says enmity, personal hostility between men. Between serpent and woman. Let that sink in for a second, family. Between serpent and woman. This is going to knock your socks off, family. That conjunction happened on December 21st last year, family. It's right there. Well, here's what's gigantinormous. This comet has never moved in history until last year on December 21st during the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn that they called the Christmas star that hadn't happened since the birth of Jesus Christ. And it takes too long to go through the days and the months, but I'll show you through the years right here. It's in Sagittarius all the way back to as far as Stellarium will go, family. Right now, we're beyond 1900s. We're in the 1800s now. And it's still right there. And I'll go through the months real quick from 1828. 
the year 1828 and you could just see it just spins around and spins around and spins around now we're in 1832 1833 this thing does not move until last year during the conjunction the bethlehem star the christmas star now we're going to tie it together with amos and israel not being passed by again and here we go through the days now we're in january February, and it's starting to move out of Sagittarius. We're in March, April, and you can see on Israel's birthday, 514, it spins around and starts heading for the woman. August spins around again. September, straight through the scale past Venus, right to the snatching away. But it looks more like Luke 10, 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And when you go past the 18th, that could be Satan falling from heaven, family. And here's your confirmation. We don't know anything about astrology or Sagittarius. So we looked it up. And the constellation that they call Sagittarius, that this enmity Comet 342 is coming out of during the conjunction, during the Christmas star that hasn't been seen since the birth of Jesus Christ. Sagittarius, when you look up what Greek god is Sagittarius, it says Zeus, god of the sky and thunder. And most of you know that Zeus is the devil, Satan. It's Revelation 12, 9, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And remember, 342 in Strong's Bible is enmity between serpent and woman. And when you go to October 18th, 1018, and you go through the hours, you can see 342 goes right past the line, spins around, and then on the 19th gets cast down. The enmity between the woman and the serpent. Now back to Israel being trampled for 42 months. When you go to Daniel, most of you know this, 927. It's actually the first three numbers of my birthday, September 2nd, 1971. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. He showed me this decades ago. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice of the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of the abominations, he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation. And that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Well, the reason why we're going over Daniel 9, 27, family, is because in Bible Strong's Concordance, Amos is 301. And there's 301 days from this Christmas star on December 21st to October 18th. When it looks like the dragon is cast down. Well, it's not only 301 days, it's nine months and 27 days. Like Daniel 9.27, you can't make this up, family. It's all right there. Jesus Christ is perfect. And if you call on him and you diligently seek him, he is a rewarder of those that seek him. If you call unto him, he will answer you and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. And we're not saying this is the rapture. What I'm saying is these are the signs and they look like Jesus is telling us when the devil will be cast down. Woo! I got my hair standing straight up. All glory to you, Father. In the name above every name, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. And as soon as God showed me all this, no joke, family, I wouldn't lie. I looked up at the clock after thanking and praising God in Jesus Christ's name and it was 8, 11 p.m. And this sign happens on Cheshvan 11, the 8th month, and the 11th and 12th day. And if you think the rapture is going to happen before that, you're probably right. It probably will. And we'll wrap this up with some hope for you and some encouragement. And we'll visually show you that Mercury does a closer snatching away first, right now. And I'll wrap this up as quick as I can, family. Mercury, today, August 31st. And when you go to next month, then you go through September. 
right there. Mercury is lined up with Spica. And there's the snatching away. But wait, Mercury comes back around. And I'll show you again. And we'll run straight through September. There it is. And then Mercury loops back around and goes right through her stomach. Mercury actually slows down and goes a little farther on the 23rd, which leads us back to Scotty Clark in the 2017 Revelation 12 sign on September 23rd. Four years. Like Luke chapter 13. Then you can see on the 24th, it inches a little bit more, 25th, and then it starts going back, family. Right on. 927, like Daniel 927. So a couple months ago, I looked to see if Scotty Clark had put out any videos, and he actually had put one out a few months before that. But before that, it had been almost a year. Well, the Holy Spirit told me before I did this video today to go check and see what's going on with Scotty. And he's going through a lot, family. And what doesn't matter to us about who you are, what you've done, we love you. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you're our brother and sister. Scotty Clark is going through a lot, family. Please say a prayer for him. And if you watch his video, he shows that he only has $9.22 in his PayPal account. And his wife divorced him. And he's living in a motel. Well, again, Scotty Clark, I believe, is the first person to ever announce the Revelation 12 sign. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So for Mercury to be doing this slow down, snatch away, starting on 922, is gigantinormous. When you go to the book of Enoch, the angel Uriel told Enoch... From the first waning moon of the season, there will be 177 days until all is revealed and redeemed. And when you go 177 days from the first waning moon this year, family, it lands on September 22nd. And September 23rd is 717 on Hebcow. What? Let's go. Jesus Christ is coming to get us. Lift your heads up. Cover your arms. Hold your faith. Hold fast. And be joyful at his appearance. He's looking for faith when he comes. Will he find it in you?